Hey guys, so a few weeks ago I was out on the beach, a really cool antenna from Chameleon Antenna. It was the uh, uh, CHA LEFS 4010 uh, as a infed half wave that I, I use as a sloper on a pole. As a matter of fact, it was uh, this pole, the Dix Commander pole. Um, uh, man, I hacked and whacked and just threw it up real quick, and uh, it wasn't pretty, but man, the thing really worked well. And I mentioned in the video, one of the things that impressed me about this and other Chameleon uh, antenna products were um, how versatile it was to do other things with it. And one of the things that can be done with this is we can build a dipole out of it. So basically, like I've said before, kind of like a Swiss Army knife, if you want to buy one of these and keep it in your pack... Let's say you're out operating, the infed is not what you want to do. You can build a dipole out of it or whatever. Really cool antenna. And look, I don't, uh, there's a lot of people that contact me about products or whatever and, and doing reviews. And uh, I don't do a lot, but um, I really like chameleon antennas. And uh, and, and I've, I've had a few of them now that I've operated with and used. And I have not had anything but success with every one of them. Great, great products. So um, I'm going to do something a little different today. I want to see if I can get this thing up. As a vertical dipole, I like uh, vertical dipoles because, for one, I'm right by the sea here. I'm at the Chesapeake Bay where the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay kind of gets close to the Atlantic Ocean here. This area is in Norfolk, Virginia called Ocean View. Now, it is a windy, cold day. It's about 42, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that? Three, four, five degrees Celsius. I don't know. Somewhere in that neighborhood. But um, it's chilly and cold and windy. And I'm going to put something up outside and sit here in the nice warm Jeep and see if I can get on the air. So I'm going to build this for 10 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two wires, um, basically measured out to be a dipole for, for the spot on the 10 meter van where I want to be. So basically that's a half wave length of wire split in half. So two quarter wave uh pieces of wire on a pole. We're going to find a way to get this up taped on the pole and, uh, and we're going to get on the air. Stick around. Okay, I'm going to use um, some 22 gauge wire. I've got a big roll of this stuff here. Um, and I'm going to cut it, uh, like I said, two pieces. One piece of uh, advice if you're going to build a dipole, what I normally do is measure one piece with about an extra inch to uh, to trim and then uh, and fold it over before you cut it. That way, you know, at the fold, kind of keep that point there and you got the two points together. Cut it once here and then come up and cut it at the top at the fold. Boom, there's your two pieces of wire. You're ready to go. Really easy trick. And I've done this a few times when making dipoles and enjoy it. Um, Standard tape measure here. I'm going to use an app. Um, you can do the math. I'm, there, I'm sure right off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember the formula, but I use an app called Antenna Tool, which will do all the measurements for me. I'm sure there's somebody in the comments that's going to give the formula or maybe I'll stick it in there as well. Hey, it's 2023, uh, almost 2024, man. We got apps for everything. It's nice to know the theory and know the formula, but man, it's so easy to just click and go. And that's going to do. So let me get that measured out. I'm going to get this cut. I'm going to tape it on the DX Commander pole with a little bit of uh, electrical tape. You, and I'm doing all the cutting uh, with my, my wire tool here. So um, there you go. Let me get this done, and then I'll show you this thing up in the air. Okay, here it is in the air. As you can see, uh, pretty rough out there on the bay. I'm parked here right by the Chesapeake Bay. Um, there you go. Up to, I'd say, a beach umbrella, like a coat hook thing that's that, that goes on a uh, beach umbrella pole. I found that at a pretty cool little uh, bait tackle surf shop and got that. But uh, the DX Commander pole all the way up. I don't have the wire all the way up. I'm up, uh, I probably got a good uh, two meters from the bottom of the uh, DX Commander uh, 10 meter pole. So there you go. That's the, uh, like I said, there it is. I've got it hooked. If you look at the, uh, the uh, transformer itself. I, I actually have it hooked up to the uh, dipole side and then it is a B and C connector so I have an adapter to use my 239 but uh, there it is uh, where the pole itself is on a, uh, you see the coax, is, uh, the pole itself is on one of the uh, flagpole tire things. What I did with the coax was ran it down. It's not perfect. I wish I could get it farther away on a better angle. But that's all I can do for now. So uh, let's go inside and see what happens. 
SWR is not perfect. It's not bad. It's what, 1.4. I could trim that thing some more and take it up and down or whatever. But I gotta be honest with you, it's work. I don't wanna work. I wanna get on the air. And that's why I use this radio right here because I can use the uh, automatic tuner for the ATU inside. So uh, let's see if we can make some contacts. Okay, thank you for the 5.5. Five. Seems to be the band conditions are not the best. Anyway, thank you for the contact. I wish you all the best, my friend, to all. And hope to meet you again uh, uh, with better conditions. Your wall. Thank you, and uh, until the next time, have a great uh, weekend. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Gold, Voska from Lima, X-Ray 1, Alpha, X-Ray. Uh, Subsidiary is bye-bye. Uh, thanks for calling. My name is Rory Radio, Oscar Yankee, and uh, we are located here in the state of Bavaria in the southeastern part of Germany, very close to the borderlines uh, with Austria and the Czech Republic, uh, in this corner of the three uh, countries, and uh, yeah, the signal report is uh, between S2 and S5, from S2 to S5. Uh, back to you, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Delta Lima 1, Radio, Bravo Radio. Thanks so much, uh, the pleasure of having my side, uh, thank you, it was, uh, was uh, really nice to do, uh, to meet you on the back. So thank you, sir, uh, and go with Hey, thank you so much, 73, Cinquia Bardot. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good morning, Kilo 5, 9, 59. My name is Petko. Papa, Easy, Tango, Kilowatt, Ocean. Kilo 7. Ocean, Germany, Ocean. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Suri, a big QSB. A Europol 5x5, 5x9. 5x5, 5x9. QSL? Yeah, QSL. I believe it's a kilowatt for Oscar, Germany, Oscar. Uh, QSL, confirm, please. QSL, QSL. The name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. Yes, what Thank you. The name is Charlie. Germany, Italy, Alpha, 1990, Italy. And you are 5, 5, 55. QSL. Okay, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Good morning. Thank you for your call. Uh, and uh, you are 5 and 3, 5 and 4, the Northern Italy name is Jampa. Kilo 4, Oscar, go off, uh, Oscar, thank you very much uh, for the call, uh, good uh, morning, uh, you are 5 uh, 5, 5 uh, 5 uh, in uh, Hungary, my name is Rodan, go off, off uh, bravo, Oscar, Romeo, and my QTA is close to me, I follow from over. You're 5 and 3 to 5 and 5 to 5 and 6 volts, so uh, your 20 watts is, uh, is getting across the pond, that's the main thing, back to you. Wow, that was great. I need it today. Boy, you just don't know how much I need it today. Seems like the last few times I've been out, conditions have not been there. And uh, just putting this antenna up and uh, being here by the ocean, or really the Chesapeake Bay, man, it was so awesome. I, I mean, I had a great, great uh, hour or so of just uh, pipeline into Europe, man. It was great. I know it was uh, evening there, coming into the uh, Gray Line there in Europe, and I'm, it's morning here, uh, mid-morning, and... Uh, Man, what a great time. I needed today. I really did. Like I said, the last few times I've been out, I've just been horrible. And uh, I know we've got a lot of uh, solar activity going on, and it's going to be up and down a little bit here for the next few days. So um, getting out here today and doing this is, uh, man, good for the soul. I really needed it. I had a good time. That chameleon antenna, look, you can build a vertical dipole with anything. I really want you to know that that antenna is a great thing to have. Um, you know, you got an infed half wave or you got a dipole. I've got, I got wires cut now. I'll probably trim them and make them a little better, but, uh, cause I did use the tuner most of the time on there because I probably could have gotten away without it, but I just wanted to make it as, as efficient as possible. But, um, the wind is howling and that, uh, that pole, once again, I, I, I feel bad. Uh, it seems like every time I use this, uh, chameleon, it's like that pole just gets a workout, but, um, Hey, the wind was howling. It stood up and, uh, and we kept on going and, and, and making some great contacts. I, uh, some things you probably won't see in the video because I didn't get through, but 
I could hear, um, I, I heard South Africa and Zimbabwe, and boy, did I ever want to make those contacts. Just the pileups were unbelievable. Um, but um, hey, you know what? Uh, it was others. Uh, there was Brazil in there, uh, Venezuela. I could hear all over, and um, it was really getting through to Europe. And I probably could sit here through the afternoon if I wanted to and, and start making. What usually happens for me is um, uh, mid-morning Europe, and, and then as the day goes by, over to South America and then late in the afternoon back around the Pacific uh, VK and then over to Japan for 10 meters for me here on the east coast of the U.S. That's that's kind of um, how conditions right now it's uh, at this time of year um, is usually how that works um, with going on there but uh, yeah I love this thing hey if um, like I said I don't promote a whole lot of products I turn a lot of people down I didn't turn down Chameleon when they wanted me to try some of their stuff because I it's honestly something I was thinking about buying anyway, and I, I do love it. I'm glad that they uh, they reached out to me. I'm glad I've gotten to try this a second time. Some of their other stuff that I have, I'll do that as well. I do have an off-center fed that uh, they're off-center fed that I hope to get out with soon and, and try. I love a, a off-center fed dipoles as well. Um, but it, like today, it's so darn windy and crazy that uh, I just uh, right now it's kind of hard. Hopefully we'll get a break in the weather and the wind. It's not so much the uh, the cool air. I, I love being on the beach when it's cool, but I don't love being on the beach when the wind's out of the northeast and it is just cranking. It's almost impossible to operate. So uh, that's why I get in the Jeep here and sit in here and operate portable in that. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, join the channel. Um, nothing special there other than a, just a big thank you. Um, and don't feel obligated to do that. I just thank you all for being there and being a part of uh, of this channel and, and all the wonderful things you say. It's a great community, and, and I love making friends and, and, and meeting so many wonderful people in ham radio through YouTube. So I appreciate that so much. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Hope to see you soon, guys. Thanks.